Hello everyone, it's Simon Anderson here for Simon TV. I'm standing outside Auckland District Court where the case against Eliana Rubashkin has just been adjourned. With me is the victim of that of one of those assaults, Tanya Sturt. Good evening, Ms. Sturt. Good evening, Simon. How are you? Very well. How are you feeling? Slightly pissed off right at this moment. Um, I wasn't expecting an adjournment. I was expecting a sentencing. Uh, there didn't appear to be anything stopping a sentencing other than the time of day. Um, and the judge wants to uh, deliberate over what was said by defence counsel, which was lengthy um, and somewhat offensive. Um, I'm not surprised to hear that you were offended. That defence went to great lengths to to make Rubashkin out to be the victim. Uh, saying that his mental health had been impacted and that it was him who was assault, assaulted because someone had squirted water at him and even that the security guard who intervened to stop him assaulting you further had in fact assaulted Rubashkin. What did you think of that? Yeah, I, I, this is just outrageous. Basically, he's painted him as a, a victim for something that he did to me. Um, for very similar th actions that he did to me. And I think what really annoyed me was uh, the fact that he alluded to, the defence counsel alluded to Rubashkin being uh, similar to a suffragette. <laughs> And I found that offensive. I took offence to that. Um, the suffragettes belong to women, and it is offensive to me that anyone would uh, say that a trans activist is acting in the same way and for the same reasons as a suffragette did. I think I think you're very right, and I think you're right to be offended by that. It almost seemed like uh, a deliberate slight from the defence. They will not take the suffragettes away from women. The, the suffragettes belong to us. I will not have a man in a dress who is delusional enough to think that he is a woman consider himself to be part of the suffragette movement. That is absolutely unacceptable. I find it so offensive. So we're adjourned until 2 p.m. The judge is considering a discharge without conviction or for a conviction to be lodged. We're expecting that court will be reconvened and perhaps we'll have a decision on that by about 3 p.m. Do you think that you will attend that hearing? I will try to. I have uh, some personal issues to um, coordinate um, in order to do that, but I will try to because uh, this is starting to get annoying now. All right, well, I've got things to say. Best wishes to you, Ms. Sturt. And before we finish, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, I don't think so. I think we'll see what happens. Um, I was disappointed that my uh, police prosecutor uh, had nothing to add to paperwork. Um, that, that was disappointing to me. The entire, uh, the entire hearing was made up with the defence lawyer. Um, I did have to amend my victim impact statement um, slightly. I'm relatively happy with um, what I had to do. Um, but yeah, I do still have some things to say. Um, and we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right. Well, I, I thought your victim impact statement was very, very powerful. And uh, I'm sure that we will talk more tomorrow. Thank you very much for your time, Ms. Sturt. Good evening. Thanks, sir.